Where'd the bandito bug go, y'all? I mean, we got it good. You try this pocket? Or did you start over there? Yeah. Gotta go? Yeah. All right, well, I'll see you again soon. I might not get nothing. Yeah, okay, next time. See ya. Last cast. We got a bite. Damn. We did have a bite. There we go. There we go. Yes. That's how you start him? Oh, it's a, is it good? He looks good. Come on. Come on. Bandito bug. Bandito bug. Oh, 12 pound line. Oh, 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 oh. Got some fight. I think he's three. This is 12 pound line, so I'm gonna be generous over here. This is 12 pound line now. Oh, this could be, this could be a solid old fish right here. Solid. Yeah, you had that bandito bug for a minute, didn't you, buddy? Oh, let me get you up here. You had that bandito bug for a minute. Yo, look at that fat mama. That's what's up. Woo. Look at, where'd the bandito bug go, y'all? I mean, we got it good. Oh, game time. Hello vlog, YouTube, new vlog coming, baby. Almost thought I didn't have the pliers on me. That would have been bad. Look at that. Wowzers. You just gotta let it sit today. They didn't want the moving bait. They wanted that Okeechobee crawl. Let me get a little picture. And then we about to put her back. Fat mama. Wow. I'd say three and a half, but I could be wrong. Haven't caught a three and a half in a while. I wasn't sure if she was on too, so I was just letting it sit there for a minute. And I'm pretty sure she had it for a little while. But I didn't feel any more pulls. It was just kind of a gulp and then go back to bed, I think. Yo! No way. Hit that four. Hit that four. Oh my gosh. That's about a four pounder this morning, guys. Look at that fish. Thank you so much. Let's let her go right here. There you go. Should be nice and easy on the release. There she goes. Wow. Four pounder. Wow. And I said last cast. <laughs> Whew. That was sick. I've only been here maybe 20, 30 minutes. And uh, Christian and I started over on that side and I was throwing the knock and trap. So I went over to the Texas rig and I got this Okeechobee craw color tied on. We were having luck with it last week. It was the first time I had used it. Normally I just hit up the naturals or black and blues. Y'all you know the deal. But this is sweet because it's got that green, uh, like that watermelon red color basically on this side. But then what happens is if you rig it to where the blue's on the bottom, uh, occasionally they'll just get the little blue flash from the flippers and whatnot. And I think it's, uh, it's tough to resist. And I was literally just letting it chill out over here. And uh, that's, what, that's what it took, man slow and steady. I was literally making an Instagram post of me just kind of fiddling around with the reel, just cranking it and popping. And, and then I said, you know, one more cast. And I hit that corner over there and that's where she was. And that's really good for me because in this pond, I primarily have confidence over in the, in the deep end. And, uh, and she was up here shallow. So pre-spawn female right there, y'all. Awesome. I've been waiting to catch a big fish. Uh, 
you know, anything over three for a while now. It's been a long time, I feel like. Or did I catch one? I don't even know, man. They've been, they've been approaching three, but that four just puts me over the top. I'm very excited about it. Oh, I got another bite. I got another bite. Oh my god. I got another bite. I got another bite. I got another fish. Yes. Oh my. Is she bigger? Oh, another solid bandito fish. Okeechobee crawl. She took me in the grass. Oh. Oh. Come on. Fight it. Fight it. Come on. Oh. And how much are you? And how much are you? Yo. That's what I'm saying, baby. Okeechobee Craw is on today. <laughs> Okeechobee Craw, baby. Just like that, guys. Look at that hook set. Oh, flawless, flawless. All right. I'm not gonna take the seaweed off there because I, I need all the extra weight I can get. You know, I'm trying to make the scale look good for the channel over here. Make sure the scale's zeroed out for y'all. Let's put her on it. Oh my gosh, back to back toads. Over three and a half, this does not happen. It's a bandito bug day, y'all, they're right here. Yes, yes, three and a half. Three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. Oh, girl. There you go. Guys, the Okeechobee Craw is getting hammered. This is this is the bomb. Texas rigged on a small hook. This is a two-aught worm hook. This is not like my four-aught I normally use. Um, and it's a worm hook, so it's not even that extra wide gap, but it is, look, it's getting them, y'all. I got that tip from Lunkers TV. Y'all know Rob, man. He, uh, he says he likes using the worm hook because it's a little bit more narrow, slimmer profile, goes good with the uh, bandito bug specifically. Yeah, so that worm hook gets it done. Tell you what, let's get a few more casts. Devin's got food at the home waiting and I'm like just being an a-hole out here trying to catch these things while the bite is good. Problem is, where's my Okeechobee craw color? That's, that's the problem, because I'm loving it. And I'm probably running low, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might not even have them. Oh, you know what? They really, they really and truly might be in the truck on the floorboard or something. Oh, they're in the Subaru on the seat. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll go with... Ah, what do we want to do? We'll go with Watermelon Red Flake. Yeah, this will be good. Where's the hook? I like to save my I like to save my bandito bugs because you can either use these as jig trailers. If you rip them on a finesse jig, you want to rip just right in front of these last claws here, and you have like this much of the bandito bug to deal with. If you're using a, uh, a larger jig, you might just rip off the, the head there and you'd be fine. And then also, I've, uh, I've used them as chatterbait trailers and the tail really flutters nicely. And I caught a lot of fish on Z-Man chatterbaits with the Bandito Bug as well. So, just a couple pointers in case you're thinking about just tossing it out. Uh, you might consider re-rigging it on another setup by just tearing off that nose that gets torn up if you catch a few Texas rigged fish. And, it uh, tears your plastic up. Uh, the gear today is this 13 fishing combo. This is a 7-1 medium heavy rod, fast taper, fast tip if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's perfect, it's, hold on, I might have a bite. It's perfect for what I've got going today. Uh, this is their origin reel. I think you can only, if I'm not mistaken, you might only be able to get this origin reel on a fate black rod as a combo. I bought it in store on sale whenever the price of this thing was so good. I think it retails for maybe 180, might be wrong. It retails for somewhere up there above 150 and I think I got it for under 100, like the same price that you would pay for just the rod. I uh, didn't want to pass that up. One of the eyelets has come off the rod, which, you know, luckily it's that one in the middle. I still have it, I just haven't put it back on because I 
don't think it's make or break. Okay, we gotta go. Let's split. That was a killer old time out here. One more thing, we just got a box in of some goodies. Figured I'd throw this in the end of the vlog. Check this out. Ooh. I think I told you on a recent video, but I recently partnered up with Wu Tungsten. And we got our shipment in this morning. Pretty excited about it. We got some flipping weights. We got some Texas rig weights. We got some drop shot weights. Let me bring you guys a little closer and show you what we're actually working with here. So we got the flipping weights that range in size from half ounce, three quarter ounce to one ounce. So I can get my flip on and practice that a little bit more. Also, I guess I could probably use something like these half ounces if I just wanted to really chunk a Texas rig out far. Maybe the camera wants to focus too, who knows. Then we come over here and we have some weights that I'm gonna use for more stuff like Texas rigging quarter ounce these are eighth ounce and then even one sixteenth ounce so I can throw some really finesse uh, T rigs out there with some three eighth ounce as well and then we've got these uh, drop shot weights I don't throw enough drop shots uh, but now that I'm partnered with Guggen Bates and I'm gonna be throwing that drag and drop a lot with some of these right here it's gonna be a dangerous duo drop shot is really gonna shine right now I think when they're just real finicky then I also got this little pocket pack so I try out some of these beads and then also these weight pegs so for my Texas rigs I'm going to be utilizing this right here that's just a quick update for you guys to round out this vlog but we got the flip in the drop shot and these Texas rig weights that I'm about to use in a lot of my future videos so be looking out for them Wu tungsten reviews man it's going to be good peace out y'all <gasps>